one of our viewers sent these chainsaw files and there's this flat file that we use for shortening the drag teeth and it didn't come with a handle so we're going to teach you how to make a very simple handle with materials that are very easy to find so uh, <clears throat> Rachel would you like to cut this for me this is a piece of uh, <clears throat> this is the young growth of a black walnut just cut it right there for me right here yes a little higher oh. a little bit higher right here yep <clears throat> With new growth on the black walnut, there's a little bit, there's a hollow spot. So the length of our handle is going to be about a hand, a hand length. So go ahead and cut it off about right there. Right here? Yep. It works better if you put it all the way in. There you go. It was right here where I was. Okay. All right. How Good many job. do I need to make three? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Right here? Yep. Put it in for me. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just gave me muscles. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay. Good. So we have our three handles here. So just peel the bark off? You can. Or you can leave it on if you if you want to leave the bark on, you can. I'm gonna round the edges a little bit. I'm just gonna smooth them off a little bit. Okay, so this nice little hollow spot, we can put the rat tail of the file. Whoops, I pushed it a little bit too far and it split it. You don't want to push it too far. Right there. And then this one here. You don't even have to drill a hole. Nice. It's just a natural. natural uh, <laughs> hole already right there. oh yeah but um, I use this one and oh, I right. push it too far and it split No need to go to the hardware store and buy handles when you can just go out and make your own. 
Okay, now our flat file. We don't want to push it in too deep or else we'll split it. But we want to push it in far enough that it'll stay. Okay, that'll work. We got a little black walnut handle for our flat file and handles for these other files. That was easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, in order for these, in order for this wood to be useful to us, it first has to be cut and then it has to go under the knife. And so in the same way, there's things in our life that needs to be cut. There's things that are rough edges that need to be cut away by our Father in Heaven so we can be useful, become a, a useful tool in His hands. So let us pray. Our Father, we're grateful that you're teaching us how to make useful tools with just simple things like young black walnut. And please, Father, work in our lives, cut into our lives and take the things out that need to be taken out of our lives, uh, smooth out the rough edges. We know that your hand holds the knife and you'll be careful and you'll do it right. We trust you, Father. Keep working in our lives. Keep shaping us. Keep molding us. We thank you. And we're asking in the name of your son, Jesus, Yeshua. Amen. All right, looks like we're ready to start filing. <laughs> and I wanted to thank the person that, uh, one of the generous viewers that sent this to us. These files are a blessing. We're definitely using them here. God bless you and we'll see you next time.